And as you can see, got a little leak going on there. I'm gonna try to get that fixed today. It's coming from my power steering, uh, the Chase Base kit. Hoping I just got a, uh, let's see if I can turn that light on, but hoping I just got tighten the fitting on the bottom. Call it a day. But uh, yeah, let's look at that. Got the um, radiator hoses uh, clamped on. A little tight right there. But this should work. Front and back lower, front and back upper. Just got this uh, tie wrapped on because uh, I need to redo these mounts. Um, got to figure that out. Probably going to have to weld something. Got the overflow in. Kind of, sort of. Hooking that up now with the hose. And I'm gonna clean all this up more. I just, uh, I'm just trying to get this running and drive it around a little bit today. So, yeah, let's keep on going. All right, so uh, we all set, ready to go. I took the top tie wrap off so I can put some water in this. I'm only going to use water because uh, just in case I got any leaks or anything, uh, I won't be leaking antifreeze. If there's no leaks, uh, I'm still gonna leave the water in there because. This will be in a garage, but um, until, god damn. This might go pick up the kids joint. But until like I'm uh, fully done with the paint and stuff, then I'll put antifreeze in, but I'm still going to have to pull the radiator out. So all this is temporary, that's why it's all sloppy. But uh, let's, let's throw some water in this thing. Alright, so if you are using water in your car, for whatever the reason it may be, mine are legit because uh, this is temporary, it's going to be in the garage, it's not really going to be driven, and once I'm done painting and everything, I'll put antifreeze in it because winter is coming, but um, if you are putting water in your car, do not use um, tap water, use distilled water, tap water does, will eat away at some uh, water pumps. Um, I did, I bought a Prelude, quick story, I bought a Prelude for 500 bucks. Um, it was overheating and everything from a family friend, but I bought it for 500 bucks. I was like, oh, it needs a hair gasket. It's whatever, cool, it's a Prelude. It ran fine and everything, it just it just overheat, overheated. But um, it ended up being a water pump. And I did it in the wrong steps. So I took the head off, sent it to the machine shop, got it flattened bought a new head gasket and everything then i went and took the water pump off there was no fans like there was no um it was just a circle where the fans would uh attach to but there was no fans so um that's one of the things that like 
uh, using tap water will cause. It just eat away at plastic fans sometimes. It, it'll just eat away at your system. So always use like a, a distilled water um, when you're using water. Water should be temporary anyway. So um, another tip, get get full strength, get full strength and freeze. Because most of the time it's the same, it's the same um, price as the 50-50. And then buy a gallon of water. So you get say say the 50-50 is 11 bucks and the full strength is 11 bucks. Well, you buy the full strength and you buy a gallon of water for two bucks. You got two gallons of antifreeze, two gallons of 50-50 for 13 bucks instead of two gallons for 22 or 23 bucks. So always buy full strength. You know what I mean? Unless you buy some OEM pre-mixed stuff, that's cool. But if you just buy going to AutoZone, buy full strength and buy a, a, a gallon of water. And just mix it pity pity like that. More bang for your buck. Alright, we got some uh, kickback here. Little drippy drip. My fan not hooked up, so I can't drive it for too long, but. At least water will go through the system if it overheats. I hope. <laughs> so that's gallon number one. I think it takes like seven quarts. That's a guess. I don't even know where I got that number from. But uh, we'll see. Yeah, that looks about right. So I got this left. Pretty much a whole gallon. I haven't started the car yet. And the rest is just dripping on the ground. Cool. So I'm going to start it up. As you can see, the car is... Um, the car is lifted. So that'll aid in the... Um, getting all the air bubbles out. It's lifted because I had a leak out of my power steering hopefully I fix that but the chase base kit I'm gonna go ahead and try to start it up and just let it run and try to uh, get this water down maybe open the thermostat and then add more water in so let's do it guess I could take y'all I guess I could take y'all of a one a little bit I guess I could take y'all on toward the inside of the car um, I got the front end pretty much, the front side of the car, um, the cockpit, or whatever you want to call it, pretty much done how I want it. Um, I still want to get some ABS plastic and clean up like the radio and the empty spaces, but yeah, man, let's, let's take a look. So that's that. Got the two front seats in. Oh, I didn't get the door, door panels on yet. I got one over there. Cleaning that up. And then I had one still up there, of course. I might try to paint this fender this weekend. That's an old, old school fender. Try to paint it and see what the paint looks like. But, anywho, yeah, man. Interior looking good besides the door panels. Um, I'm going to put this piece on that covers the cluster. Cluster's plugged in. Wire harness right there. Pretty much tucked. Uh, seats are in. Damn, I gotta hook up the battery. I hope this battery. I'm getting ahead of myself. And then the back is what I have to do still. I'm debating on painting it or not. Should I paint it, guys? Because if I paint it, then I got to um, do the sound deadening. So that's a lot of work, which I have time and I need content. So I should do it. But yeah, hopefully this battery works. Because I had to been I had I had been using my Infinity battery. But uh, yeah, so. We gonna check that out. Let's get it. Water still at the top. So I'm sure y'all heard that my battery is shot uh, in this. Won't even take a jump. So I'm gonna have to use my Infinity battery, which sucks, but it is what it is. So let's do that.
something for her to warm up a little bit. Get that thermostat open. Can't really see it in there. Let's see if I got lights. Oh, I got lights. Why my bright lights was on? I don't know. Got them LEDs in there, boy. That's like 80 videos ago. Go check out my LED video. definitely need to re-bleed the brakes and the clutch line but uh it moves so yeah uh i say it's a success kind of that's why i only put water in it just in case it did something like this um it is what it is let's get it Good concept, bad idea, eBay. Uh, it's leaking from somewhere. I can't really see. I think it's behind the shroud and everything. But uh, it's definitely leaking, as you can see. Still steaming. The car been off about five minutes. Got a funny noise coming from the engine um, under load. And I got an oil leak from the head. So I sh this head is off a of B20. I should have had it surfaced. Definitely leaking right there. Definitely leaking on this side. So, um, we're about to tear this bitch down again. Fuck it. No big deal, because, um, I'll probably just redo the bay and redo everything, man. Practice makes perfect, I guess, but we in for the long haul.
see it on the app. Funny, I think they only get about six Eastern drinks. I'll be pissed off. I'm used to driving Emmons, bitch. Gotta put that shit to the walls. <laughs>